Okay, so you want to design a normal fake adapter. Let's get to it. First, you need to understand that a normal fake adapter is basically just a unidirectional wide angle adapter. So you'll need at least two elements a front planar concave element and a rear planar convex one. In practice, you should achromatize these, so split them up and make them achromatic doublets with two different indices of refraction. I only have one type of material though, so we're going to ignore it and just make a regular adapter. This setup is basically a reverse scale on a telescope, so we can fold the formula that says that the magnification, or the inverse of the squeeze, is the front focal length divided by the rear focal length. The magnification is basically how much the light beam expands or compresses. There's one more thing to take into consideration, and it's the spacing between the elements. The formula says that the distance is equal to f1 plus f2. This means that the bigger the difference between the focal lengths of the two elements, the bigger the spacing. For this project, I decided I wanted a squeeze of 1.33x, which is equal to a magnification of 0.75. So it shows f1 being minus 75 and f2 being 100. And so my spacing is theoretically 25. This approximation is usually fine for viewfinders where your eye can accommodate for the difference. But when you're taking a photo through it, you want to be a bit more precise. Additionally, an issue inherent in Morphix is that you now have different horizontal and vertical focal length. This means that you're effectively focused at two different points. And so you'll have to adjust the front element to bring those two together. To get the exact value of the adjustment of the front lens, I don't know if there's an exact one though. I couldn't find all my optics books, and so I just brute forced one by writing a script in Grasshopper and running it through for a specific setup. For example, with a 50 millimeter lens and this 1.3x anamorphic, you get a roughly 31.3 millimeter behaving front lens. If anyone knows of a general formula, please let me know. Okay, time to make our lens elements. I made mine out of acrylic, which has an index refraction of roughly 1.5. I cut them out on my small hobby CNC, and then sanded them to about 7000 grit, and then polished them with plastic polish up to their final form. I 3D printed a negative block to keep the sanding consistent. This gave me a smoother result, uh, by no means optical grade, but good enough for these purposes. Looking through the adapter, you'll notice that it's not very sharp wide open. This is because, as I said before, you have two different focal lengths now and so you're back focused and front focused at the same time. Now there's two main ways to get a sharper image, uh, other than moving the front element. The two ways are uh, to either stop down the lens, so you'll get rid of uh, some of the spherical aberration, and also your depth of field will increase, so cover both of them. The other way is generally to just go for a wider focal length. Um, this will make the difference in the two focal lengths smaller, and thus they'll be closer to each other. I prefer to use it on a 35mm, and I've had pretty decent results there. I don't shoot it wide open that much of the time. I try to shoot about f4 and up, um, f5.6, and it could better along there. I just have mine to be sharpest around 2 to 3 meters, and I think this is a, sort of the best in between. Okay, so what now? Well, um, if you follow along, you now have an anamorphic after. Uh, if you don't have the tools to build one, or are so interested in this kind of project, uh, I'll be making 100 adapters available relatively soon. Um, they'll be made out of glass instead of plastic, uh, and they will cost roughly $150. Stay tuned.